Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now if you've got an iPhone 5, maybe you had a phone before, maybe you didn't. But, one thing's for sure, if you do have problems, this is at least how I've resolved my issues. Now my phone, for example, I got my 5, I ran a, uh, simply powered on the phone, it asked for my phone number and that info, actually it already had my phone number in there, but it asked for other information, did I want to do a new phone, did I want to restore from iCloud backup, I had previously backed up, um, sorry I got gum, I had previously backed up my iPhone 4 to iCloud, and check out my other video on that if you want to, I've linked it in this uh, video's description, but I backed that up to iCloud in preparation of upgrading to the iPhone 5. Now, the thing was, when I upgraded, everything seemed to work fine. It got all my apps, it got all my contacts the AT&T logo because I use AT&T was up there the 4G logo was up there for the data I hadn't placed a test call yet but when I did I got a message and it, it basically said call 611 I think it was or you can call this toll free number for support so I, I couldn't call that number from my phone either the, the three digit number or the toll free number so I had to pick up my landline and call I did call AT&T and I will say I commend them for their awesome tech support. Uh, they stuck, uh, stood with me uh, from uh, start to finish. So what we did to resolve the issue, we first restored the phone. So you uh, you go into, uh, I'm just gonna step everybody through, so you go to settings, you go to general, you go down to the bottom where it says reset and then you select and keep in mind you need to make sure you have a full iCloud backup before doing this because you will lose that information forever if you don't so I then selected erase all contents and settings put the phone back to a factory state uh, when it came back up I then opted to restore from my iCloud backup again I selected the backup that I had made with my iPhone 4 uh, the previous day in preparation for my iPhone 5 upgrade everything seemed to go well again and the voice worked the voicemail worked and the text messaging worked however when I turned off Wi-Fi the 4G still did not work so what did I do to resolve the 4G issue well some people have been successful with doing uh, going back to settings general reset and then reset network settings some people have had great success with that I tried that that didn't work now what I also did I removed and reinserted the SIM card that did not work and feel free to check out my other video I've got a video on how to remove the uh, the SIM card on an iPhone 5 the ultimate fix for this issue this being the only remaining issue of 4G data not working. That's 4G, 3G, whatever. No data outside of, uh, of my home internet would work. So the fix for the 3G, 4G LTE data was to go to the local AT&T store, have them pull the SIM card out, and issue me a brand new SIM card. When the AT&T store put the new SIM card in, all everything worked. My 3G, 4G LTE data, my voice, my text messaging, so that was the fix. And I just thought I'd share this video with everyone in case you're encountering the same issues. I mean, if these fixes don't fix it, there's always a possibility it could be a network issue. There's always a possibility that it's not software related and it's some sort of hardware defect with your, uh, within your iPhone. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this video. And my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.